Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to go over six items that were limited on Black Friday. So let's get started. And we've been typically getting big waves on holidays, so this makes sense that we actually get six items, and they're all pretty cool. So yeah, let's just go over them. So the first one over here, Arctic Wanderer. This is actually a pretty cool one since it is winter pretty soon. This makes sense. It only has around 400 owners, so it's definitely a pretty rare item, and it already sold for almost 40,000. So it's definitely going to be pretty expensive over time, and definitely if you own this one, it's definitely going to be a great profit for you. So definitely not a bad choice for this. And it's also a series we haven't seen one gold limited from since they made limited to return, so this is definitely a nice choice for that. Next up over here, Pink Queen of the Night. This is another sale kind of item. It was a few hundred Robux and it got 100 sales, so definitely a pretty rare one, and it's going to do pretty well because it is one of those kind of high demand limiteds. We did see the blue and green ones go limited a couple of weeks ago, so this definitely makes sense on that part. So now there's just the purple one to go limited left, and then all the ones that were on sale previously are actually limited, so definitely a pretty cool one. It's definitely going to be pretty expensive in the future. Next up over here, we do have a pretty big one, Lord of the Tixeration. This was a pretty expensive one that they released for the Tixapalooza event, and it only got a couple sales. That's why it's only selling four times, but I can definitely see this worth over a million, definitely. So if you own this one, this is definitely going to be a huge profit for you, and it's definitely going to be one of those high-tier rare items that you will only see a couple of times. Next up right over here, Sugar Shades. This is another one of those birthday free items. We did get one of them gold bit yesterday with the Frosting Flyers, and this is the next one. If you've worn it, you probably know what the issue is with it right over there, but that does make it unique because it is kind of giant size when you wear it but still looks fine it's gonna do basically how other free items do less than 100 robux so still profit if you got it because it was free before next up right here sparkle time yen phones this is a pretty cool one it has around 1300 owners which isn't that bad it's a nice sparkle time item and they're pretty cool headphones too very creative with the cupcakes so i can definitely see this as a 15,000 item in the future so definitely if you own this one this is definitely gonna be a nice profit for you and the last one over here guardian exile this is definitely a classic item so definitely pretty cool to see this one limited it was last out a couple of years ago i think in 2018 was the last time it was out so definitely not bad. It's gonna do fine because it is a classic, but it does have quite a lot of owners, so I can definitely see this. Probably below 1,000, but still pretty nice one, and definitely one that I can see a lot of people going for. So yeah, definitely a pretty cool big wave. I think it's definitely a nice change of pace from the regular random items we've been seeing limited recently, so definitely not that bad. I don't expect anything over the weekend, but I think that we will get another kind of bigger wave on Monday as well. So yeah, if you do want to check out any of these items, I will leave the links to them in the description. And yeah, that's much the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!